The Central Idaho Dark Sky Reserve is unique by definition. It is the first of its kind in our country. And aside from it just being the first, what makes it so special is the sheer size of this dark sky reserve, covering over 900,000 acres and sandwiched between the Sawtooth National Wilderness and the Boulder White Clouds National Wilderness. And so this sort of homogeneous, but also organic process in which we have wilderness accompanied by a dark sky reserve makes this one of the most unique opportunities to protect everything from the ground up to the top of the sky. The Sawtooth National Forest came together with community partners to demonstrate the value of the dark skies over central Idaho. This combined effort resulted in the designation of the first dark sky reserve in the United States. We have a long history of trying to preserve the dark sky. We are one of the first jurisdictions to pass a dark sky ordinance that regulates lighting in our county. And I think this dark sky reserve is a natural extension of those preservation efforts and really is a testimony that Blaine County is committed to preserving our dark skies. And I think it's also reflective of the values of a lot of people in the community. It was a nice effort to see City of Ketchum and the county and City of Sun Valley and Stanley and a lot of the individuals in our community and ICL come together and um, bring this idea to the Forest Service and then to work cooperatively with the Forest Service and the area to get a dark sky reserved and designated. So I also think it's a nice indication of how we can work together to preserve the environment. So the Idaho Conservation League decided to work on designating the area as a dark sky reserve because of wildlife issues related to artificial light, human health issues, and energy issues, all related to artificial use of light. Communities all across the United States are losing their night skies, and that is totally affecting our way of life. And so Idaho Conservation League likes to think of sustaining our communities, and this is a big part of having a healthy community. Well, it's interesting when you think about the range of benefits with our newly designated Central Idaho Dark Sky Reserve. Uh, first and foremost, there's some context, and that is 80% of Americans cannot see the Milky Way from where they live. That's kind of a staggering uh, number of people who lose perspective of the cosmos and the heavens. And so when we steer towards the benefits, we think of it's a preservation of heritage. We are ruining our dark skies by the amount of artificial light pollution that we put into the sky. In my opinion, the city of Stanley will be ground zero for people wanting to come visit the Dark Sky Reserve. There's good access to it from two major highways that converge on Stanley, and we are set up for recreation and tourism. That's the basis for our economy, so we will have the capacity to host people who want to come up to the area to explore and enjoy the Dark Sky Reserve. The Central Idaho Dark Sky Reserve is about 906,000 acres in size. It encompasses the entire Sawtooth National Recreation Area. And the Sawtooth NRA is 756,000 acres. Um, of course, uh, the Dark Sky Reserve is the first Dark Sky Reserve on the National Forest System. Uh, and it's an honor to have it on the Sawtooth National Recreation Area. Having a dark sky reserve allows us the opportunity to start a real dialogue with many of our neighbors, partners, and sister cities throughout central Idaho. It really gets us to start thinking about our actions and how they maybe impact our neighbors one mile, ten miles, a hundred miles away. Light pollution is the only pollution I know of that you can actually flip a switch and turn it off. And so we really owe it to ourselves as we look to the impacts of climate change and the other impacts that we have on our environment to see, can we actually come together as a community? Can we come together uh, as a group of people really interested in one outcome of making sure that a resource and really something as pristine as our dark skies can be protected for future generations? And so there's an opportunity we have here to look forward, forward to a beautiful sky accompanied by wonderful wilderness.